Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Milwaukee M12 12 volt lithium ion brushless cordless 3 inch cutoff saw. So I've had this one for a while and it works really well on small little projects. Uh, it only has a 3 inch blade. So if you're grinding a tube, for example, there's really you can't really go too thick because at its thinnest part or at the widest part where the blade sticks out you're not going to get so much penetration so maybe an inch of penetration this was a three inch disc it's maybe two and a half inches right now let's see so from the center yeah it's right about three inches so it's about two and three quarters so as you can see right here if I have a piece of cable that I'm cutting or some type of uh, rebar it's not gonna go through very thick material so this is more for small little projects it will stop uh, it doesn't have a whole bunch of torque so you have to be light when you're doing the work but it's great for small little projects it also comes with this which you can attach to it and use it as like a little circular saw. You can attach diamond blades, uh, grinders, all different types of heads. So it has a bunch of different uh, adapters that you can put on it as far as blades for different materials. It'll use the 4.0 battery, the 6.0 battery, or the small 2.0 depending on what you have or what it is you want to work on. If you have a little light project, you can just put the little 2.0 and it'll good to go. The handle feels good. I like the fact that it has a trigger. They should have made the die grinder with a trigger. That would have been a lot better. Uh, a lot easier to use. Uh, a cool feature is that you can lock the trigger. So if you throw it in your toolbox, it doesn't get accidentally hit and it's just not spin spinning in your toolbox. You can lock it. The little white indicator tells you that it's locked. If you switch it this way, now it'll turn the right way. Or reverse it'll turn in reverse and this tells you what speed uh, what direction if you put it this way it'll go forward which is a great feature because if anybody's used a grinder uh, if you're using it forward like this and you're cutting something all the sparks are gonna be coming towards you uh, if you're in a situation where you want to divert the sparks away from you you can switch the rotation and that way the sparks will go in a different direction also, depending on the application, sometimes it's nice to be able to switch the uh, rotation. That way, it just works better for you. If you press this, you can switch the guard. Um, so in case you're cutting something straight on this way, uh, the guard would get in your way if it was like that, per se. So depending on what you're cutting, um, you can change the rotation so that it suits your needs a little bit better. It has a battery indicator, so I'm going to plug the battery in. Okay, and if I press the trigger, you can notice I've got two bars. Now, this thing sounds super cool. Now, the trigger is not variable speed, so it's either it's on or it's off. It has a great break so that the minute you get off the trigger, it'll automatically stop. It stops almost instantaneously. Again, this is not variable speed. So even if I were to try really hard to just spin the, press the trigger really slow, it just, notice it just goes. It does have a work light so you can see what you're doing. Uh, this is the 3 inch 76 millimeter cutoff tool, catalog number 2522-20. Alright guys, um, I have used it, it works well. Uh, for little projects it's great. Uh, this is definitely not for, you know, half inch rebar or anything like that because it just won't cut it. There's just not enough clearance. 
this is a relatively brand new blade and I uh, it's about half an inch distance uh, that you're gonna get remember it is used a little bit so you may get half inch deep cuts on it at best okay guys don't forget to like share and subscribe we'll see you guys on the next video the next tool I'm gonna be reviewing is the Milwaukee Versa right here that'll be next so stay tuned. See you guys on the next one, guys.